Hey guys, welcome back. Wait a second. I think we need to change this up a little bit. Come with me. We're back, baby. Back for our renovation series. So we're back to restart our renovations. If you followed along with our channel at all, we've been renovating this beautiful little house called the Triple Gable Queenslander. And that's because it's got three gables at the front of the property. And we've done a whole heap of work in this place. We sanded the floors ourselves. We used our paint sprayer throughout the home. I had to go at tiling with my dad. Em got dragged into doing some grouting. We've done a whole lot of work on this little place. And our current layout is that we've got two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a sleep out and a study space, which is where you see me shoot most of the videos for the main part of the channel. But going forward, we're gonna be looking to build our dream home, which we're super excited about. And we're gonna share the process with you guys. We're gonna show you from start to end what we actually, what's involved with building our dream home, who we need to chat to, do we need a town planner, an architect, what builders do we talk to? How many quotes do we get? And what does it cost at the end of the day? We're gonna share our plans as to what we're gonna DIY because we wanna do as much as we can ourselves to save money and to document the journey. And we're also gonna be working with a builder and seeing if we can find a you know, block type relationship where we can do some of the work with the builder on site and also let them do their thing for certain stages of the project. So we don't have a massive budget to work with for the renovations or for the production of these videos. We have upgraded the microphone to try and give you good quality, but at the end of the day, it's Emily and myself shooting this on a phone and it's not gonna be like the block or like big renovation series you might see on YouTube. It's gonna be us sharing the raw and real and everyday life and every week of us going through this project. So it might take us a long time and there might be a lot of videos come out, but I think it'd be fun to carry as many of you guys through the journey. Um, hear from you, you'll be able to vote on Instagram, have a chat with us in the comments, let us know what your thoughts are, where we can potentially save money, what we could do better, um, and give us some ideas. We love that feedback and we just love the community that we've created through these renovation videos. So I guess the hope is that if you are a, an aspiring renovator, you're going through renovations at the moment, um, or you've done some renovations in the past, that you come along for this journey with us because uh, we'd love to share our mistakes and our wins through the process. So in the process of looking to build our dream home, we've broken it down into four key stages, some which we're gonna work with a builder, and then some stages where we're gonna do some DIY. The first stage in our project is to actually lift our Triple Gable Queenslander. So this little house is up on stumps at the moment. It's around one and a half meters off the ground. Uh, and we're on a pretty level block here. We're just on over 400 square meters. We've got roughly 10 meters of frontage. And we're gonna lift the house up around about 2.7 to three meters of ceiling height underneath so we can create legal living space under the home. So in that first stage, we're gonna engage with a builder. We need to engage with a draftsman to get our plans finalized and we'll be sharing our plans in a future renovation video episode. And so the house is gonna get raised up roughly one to 1.5 meters at the moment to take that roof line up to around that 2.7 to three meters. The guys will then excavate all of the concrete stumps. So we've got concrete stumps throughout the entire home and probably put in a steel frame and steel stumps uh, to restump the home at that higher level. The last two key items for the very first stage of our renovation is to get the slab poured. So we want all the plumbing, the drainage, um, anything that needs to go under slab to be done before the slab goes down. And we're also gonna get the pool excavated. And originally we thought we didn't really want a swimming pool, it might be too high maintenance. But then we also thought life's too short. As kids, we both loved having swimming pools between say the ages of four and 13. But given we've got Asa, who's only four months at the moment, and we wanna have a couple more kids. So we've decided that as part of our plans, we wanna spend the extra money and have a swimming pool excavated on the back right-hand side of our property. So we'll need to budget for the slab and for the swimming pool excavation, and then concreting for both of those. So that wraps up the very first stage, and we're definitely going to engage with a builder slash development manager to undertake that first stage. That's going to roll us into stage number two. So now we've raised the property, we're going to look to enclose the home. That means things like the exterior cladding, we're going to continue the weatherboard around the bottom level of the home. We also want to have the doors and windows put in. We're going to try and keep as many of the old windows in the property as we can. We love the character, um, but it's likely that we're going to have to rip up the hoop pine floors because they've got a lot of borer damage and a lot of issues. So stage two is enclosing the entire place and wrapping it up and basically making it watertight. So essentially at that point, we'll have a shell of a home uh, and a space all under our current roof line. 
Also with our renovations, we're not gonna to look to extend any further backwards. We think that with our current floor plan around that 90 square meters of under roof line space, we could probably with 180 square meters, we'll have more than enough space to fit five bed, three bath and two cars under a carport. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're gonna break down our floor plans, all the variations of floor plans that we've gone through and how we came up with our current final plan that we have at the moment. So this leads me into stage number three, which is actually the framing downstairs and a little bit of framing upstairs as well. So we're gonna try and keep these alterations upstairs at a minimal because we've done a lot of hard work up here and painting and, and redoing the place. So we're gonna actually frame a new study and a new office space at the front of the property. So that's where um, I'm gonna shoot these videos going forward down the track. I'm sure that's a few years away now, but that we're gonna have a study upstairs at the front room and then the bulk of the framing will be in the downstairs space. We're gonna have some internal stairs which run along the side of the home. And we decided to not go for external stairs on our Queenslander because rain happens a lot here in Brizzy and uh, we think that water and rain and wood rot will cause us too many issues. And we think it's a bit safer to have internal stairs where they can't get wet um, and people are less likely to slip over. So, and we think one set of stairs is enough for us. We're, we won't have stairs up the front and we won't have stairs off the back. We'll just have the internal stairs at the home. So this third and final stage, the framing downstairs and the little bit upstairs will be our last stage working with our builder. So essentially we're gonna engage the builder to help us raise the home, enclose the home and then frame it upstairs a little bit and downstairs as well. We wanna get the property ready for rough in, so electrical and the plumbing, but we're gonna basically take the project from there, which leads us into the final stage, which is fit out. And this is where we're gonna try and DIY as much of the project as possible. If you've followed any of our renovation videos, we try to be as handy as we can. We watch other YouTube videos to learn and understand what we can and can't do. So we're gonna try and lay the flooring, we're gonna try and do the painting, um, hang vanities, um, organize tilers and other trades to help us through the process and work with our local team of tradies that have helped us on other projects to essentially finish off and fit out our new home. This will include the landscaping, so we're gonna get our hands dirty and re-landscape the entire property. That includes things like the front fence, an arbor, uh, any decking around the pool and a back shed. All those landscaping items will be taken up by us and we're just gonna pay for the materials. We're even gonna do an IKEA flat pack kitchen because we think IKEA at the end of the day looks just as good as the custom kitchens. And we're gonna do a little bit of that work ourselves, that cabinetry and customize the space. We're gonna try doing a curved island bench top as well with the base of the island is curved. And then we're gonna work out whether we go for uh, stone or laminate tops, depending on the price point. We're also gonna weigh up whether we wanna sheet the home ourselves or whether we're gonna pay for um, some guys to come out and do the plastering. So that's where we think we can save the bulk of the money. Essentially, we're looking to work with the builder to get our shell of a home and frame up the rooms and spaces for us, and then take it from there when it comes to rough-in, sheeting, tiling, kitchens and bathrooms, and all that fun fit-out stuff, where you get to create the space that you want. Now, I really don't think this is gonna happen in a matter of months. It might take years for us to actually finish this project, and we're sharing this with you pretty early on in the process of our planning, but I thought it would be real um, to take you guys along for the whole journey rather than just showing you the end result, because that's what I would love to see is, you know, how much is it going to cost? How much time is involved? What is it like working with a builder that does just the lockup phase for you? And so that's exactly what we're trying to do here on the channel. Um, so if you could help me out and drop a like on this video and subscribe down below. And if you haven't seen any of our renovations on this Triple Gable Queenslander, make sure you go and check out the playlist on our YouTube channel. All in all, I'm really excited to be sharing our dream home plans with you guys. It's a bit of a pipe dream at the moment. We're gonna try and minimize the costs as much as possible and create a place and space that works for us. So thanks for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>